also from Mushka, 195 pounds. He was a five-time amateur wrestling champion, Mitch Lightning. From Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada, at the age of 20, one of my best pals and best friends, Mitch Smith, has, is one of the few guys that has multiple hobbies and jobs. For example, in high school, he was a wrestler. He's also a dancer and a bar bouncer. But most people know Mitch best for his famous YouTube channel known as The Wrestling Gurus. But people also know Mitch from, the, from Gold Dragon Wrestling as the charismatic professional wrestler Mitch Lightning. I had the I had the privilege of interviewing my good friend Mitch via Skype. And these, these were the questions I asked him, and these were the answers I got. My match um, with J.S. McStronger um, it was a year ago, and it was my first match with J.S. McStrongarm and I remember getting the call from J.S. McStrongarm saying we are going to be having a match Mitch uh, it's good we found a spot they need an extra guy you're going to be the guy you're going to have a debut match you will be facing me and it went on from there um, got the call from um, got the call and I right there I had to think I, I my name's going to be Mitch Lightning What's my theme going to be? What's my attire going to be? So, thinking towards that match, what did I get? I got myself, uh, I thought, oh, I'm going to wear this, these gold pants and this gold shirt, and I'm going to wear Under Armour underneath, and I'm going to fold it up, and it's going to look very corny. I'm going to come out to safety dance, and this was my big plan, and I was going to run with the dance gimmick, and then wear my wrestling shoes underneath. Then I remember showing up at the venue, we went over our match, um, and felt pretty confident about it. Um, had a game plan. Basically, the game plan was since you're super green and it's your first match, stay put. Stay, um, stay put. Listen to me. I'll, I'll, I'll basically carry you through this match. Um, so you get the feel for it. The match will feel very, very fast. So you need to take it slow. And that's what I was taught. So in my head was, what was I thinking? Keeping it slow, keeping it steady. As for me going into that match, um, I remember being in the back and um, I was in the back and one of the wrestlers in the back um, looked at my gear and was like, really, you're going to wear that? He goes, no, you, you, you're a shooter. You're an amateur wrestler. Don't go for gear like this. He goes, you have your singlet, your amateur wrestling singlet. And it was my lightning singlet. He goes, you're called Mitch Lightning, wear that lightning singlet. He talks some sense into me because it's, like, I don't know what I was thinking, wearing a gliss, um, oh, yeah. gliss gold pants. It, it's so not me. He goes, you're a wrestling shooter. He goes, play play to the crowd as a dancing gimmick. But when you step in the ring, you're a full-blown amateur wrestler. You're a shooter. So, got in my singlet and prepared that way. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, if I would um, change anything, it would probably be the super corny dancing that I had when I came out. Um, on t uh, I'm iffy on both sides. Like I was super corny when I came out. I agree. Um, the in wrestle like in ring wrestling, there's things I would change. But again, it was my first match. But me coming out, all I was thinking was, I'm I'm behind the door. I'm getting ready. And it's going, I'm like...
ever think about what I was going to do when I get out there. So I get out there and you see me get out there and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to clap and get everybody going into this match. Like I was just so nervous and then I started dancing out and then I did a butt shake and I'm like, like, like that was just weird and everything. And I start, as I was dancing, like the kids loved it. Um, the fans loved it. It was so corny though. Um, but it was my first match. It was my first debut. So I did get some laughs and I, I did entertain some people. And that's what we're there to do is to entertain the fans that are there, but also give a, give them a good entertaining wrestling match as well. So I would change the corny dancing and obviously I do have some of that corny dancing still with me, but not, not I as full blown, no. not as full blown as the first match. <laughs> it, it's anybody's dream to make it into the big time, even if it's in ROH or Chikara Pro or New Japan Pro Wrestling. You have so many choices to go in the wrestling business. Right now, I am wrestling because it's fun. I enjoy it. Uh, I obviously I'm not a full-time wrestler. Um, I still inspire on going to school. Um, as for um, going to WWE and TNA, that would be a dream. But if I were to do that, I would I would have to make wrestling my number one priority. Yeah. But I'm not going to make wrestling my number one priority unless I have school under my belt and unless I have something that's going to um, back me up. Um, if the wrestling doesn't work out because you have wrestlers that don't have that backup they don't have that university they don't have that college they have nothing so when for example they get injured their neck gets broken they're end up, they're crippled or they end up with a broken leg and they can't wrestle full time or anything and they have to rely on merchandise or transportation somehow um, and they don't have a backup for it um, it's an independent wrestling contract right you need to have a backup, and until then, I, to be a full-time wrestler, I need to have a backup plan. So if I can't wrestle anymore, I need to have that backup, right? But right now, I, I need a. I, I don't plan on going to WWE or TNA or that. Right now, it's just right a hobby. Now, it, right now, it's a hobby, and learning the business, and shutting my mouth, and listening to the veterans, um, and learning everything I can, right? So that's where I am right now.